Asthma isn't contagious, but there are some unusual triggers. And one family discovered some unwanted guests when they recently moved into a condo. We moved here approximately about a month and a half ago. It was really dirty when we first moved in. The cockroaches are pretty much everywhere. And here is the cockroach feces. As a parent, I'm concerned because I'm up in the middle of the night and I see the infestation all through the house. Two of my boys have asthma, so it was a huge concern when we found out we had cockroaches in here. Our two-year-old has been having uh, flare-ups. His breathing at night is very raspy. He's starting to have a cough, um, which sounds very asthmatic. So doctors, is it possible that the cockroaches are the cause of my son's respiratory and asthma issues? What do you think? That was Dad, Brian. We actually have Mom, Jessica, on the phone right now who's anxious for some answers. Thanks for joining us, Jessica. Hi. We have some of your pets here with us in the studio. I'm so <laughs> but sorry. I'm curious, how long after you moved in did you start seeing symptoms in your boys? I honestly have to say it was pretty immediate. My youngest, especially my two-year-old, he was coughing this horrible, raspy, rough cough at night. Um, he's been snoring, he's had difficulty breathing, which causes him to have a hard time to sleep. It's been awful. What made you suspect that roaches might have been the problem? Well, it went from him being completely fine to moving in. Day two, with our boxes still in our home, we noticed some cockroaches. And I've heard from people that grew up in California when they were younger that cockroaches can cause uh, illnesses, breathing problems. And that's amazing that just two days after moving in, he starts to see the symptoms. So it's obvious something changed in his environment. And most people would think about maybe mold in the house or dust mites, things like that. But yeah, cockroaches actually are a pretty common cause of allergic reactions, including asthma. And uh, you know, one thing a lot of people don't know, you think it may be the cockroach itself, and it could be the cockroach proteins, but it's more likely the cockroach feces that you're allergic to. And you know, at night, the cockroaches come out, poop all over the kitchen, and then in the morning, cockroaches are gone, kids are crawling around the kitchen floor getting exposed to that poop, and boom, you get an allergic reaction, the airways swell, you get the wheezing, all those asthma symptoms, and it can be pretty bad. And a lot of people don't realize, 60% of asthmatic sufferers suffer from allergic asthma. Mm -hmm. And so for, for your kids, it could be cockroach feces. It could okay. be pet dander. It can be dust mites. These are very common triggers in your home. And the takeaway for anyone watching at home is if you just moved into a home or, or something has changed, new carpeting, whatever it may be, and all of a sudden there's res respiratory problems, you need to stop that from spreading. Mm -hmm. You need to figure out. And one thing you can do is you know, get allergy testing on your, your children to see if this might be the trigger. Because sometimes th this is throws you off a little bit. It could be right. something else. It yeah, could, could be mold could in been, there. Yeah, we don't could know. Have been, that's the one thing. You know, whenever you have asthma, you know, it, and you don't know what the trigger is, it's so much easier to treat the asthma if you know what causes it. Mm -hmm. So get tested, whether it's the mold or some sort of food or cockroach feces. Now, I'm curious, Jessica, how many roaches have you killed or caught in your trap? I honestly have lost count. Typically, it's when we come out at night. Uh, and flip on the light. Some nights we've killed 16. Well, here's some uh, encouraging uh, tips for you. Is for every one roach you see, there's 800 of them underneath the sink, behind the refrigerator, underneath the stove. So, you know, what you see is just the tip of the iceberg. They're all over there. So, yeah, you know, if you get tested and it is cockroach, allergen that your kid's allergic to, then you can take some steps to get rid of them. First, use some sort of non-toxic pest spray. You don't want to use chemicals, because that can make the airways irritated and cause the asthma symptoms to get worse. Uh, uh, the cockroaches will come out of the cracks and crevices, so fill those with a putty. If it's a, if it's a large crevice, you can fill it with steel wool, and that will block the roaches for, from coming out. Um, you can set out baits and traps, and uh, if you need to get professional help, call an exterminator and try to get rid of all those roaches. All right, so you back so. in the back, back row there? <laughs> <laughs> they really yeah. are. Well, we're sending these back they, to Jessica. They, they You're, really are these interesting back. critters. Yeah, but, but Jessica, we wish you the best of luck, and I think an important takeaway here is if your children are suffering this much, you need to figure it out. Try to get rid of the cockroaches, but also make sure that is indeed what they are potentially reacting to. We wish you the best okay. of luck.